Type Logo River. And for this we're going to use the font Avenir Next Bold. Going to Characters and adjust the spacing around here so we're going to increase it to 20. Go here and remove the fill color and we'll go to appearance right so open appearance and you already know you can open it from windows. There we can just add a stroke and increase the stroke thickness and we'll change. The stroke thickness to white color like this. I'm going to click on add a new stroke and we'll use replace it on the bottom of our fill layer something like that or maybe on top here ok and this one we're going to change the color to maroon color so we'll go over here you can choose red or you can just go in here and choose the color so let's choose the color something like a little darker okay so we'll go to distort and transform transform option and here we'll do the same let's add one by one and increase the number of copies just to see this like movement the direction we can choose the color something like that and a little bit darker okay yeah that's good Now we need a stroke again. I'll change the color let's say maybe we'll go over here and choose dark black color. Something like this ok and after that let's go to transform and increase the number of copies. Something like this ok. Again we'll create a duplicate you can just select the stroke. Change the color to a little bit red so click here and ok. And let's increase the number of copies ok. We need to change the color to a little bit more brighter ok now we'll create on the duplicate of the stroke. So select this stroke and create a duplicate. Select the bottom layer change the color to bright red. So we'll go to stroke color make it brighter red color ok. And go to transform and number of copies to around this ok. Make it a little bit more red so I'll just increase it to red tone and OK. I'll go to the fill color so let's select that and you can apply either a flat color. Or you can choose a pattern from your design so let's choose a pattern so here are some patterns. For your design so that you can choose any of the patterns you want. You can even go over here and go to the library and you can choose different other patterns. I think this one is looking good so I'll keep it that way and that's how we have created the second text effect and as I have told you these texts are easily editable you can click very easily right and this one also you can just type here and it will be easily editable. And this is the second text effect here in Illustrator. For more videos please subscribe my YouTube channel. Thanks for watching.